Happy Gerard and Rhino in the Super Talk studios on this Tuesday. It's raining outside, Rhino. I can hear it. Joining Trying us in, to. It is. Joining us now in the studio, Miss Mississippi volunteer Rachel Shoemaker, Mary Kate Nelson, Miss Mississippi team volunteer, and our good friend Major Johnny Polis with the Mississippi Highway Patrol. Uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Good, good morning. morning. Good morning, Gerard. How are you all today? Great. Doing well. Well, you certainly brighten up the studio, I'll tell you that for sure. So uh, we appreciate you being here. All right, so uh, start with you, Rachel. How exactly did you earn this distinction, this honor of being a Miss Mississippi volunteer? Okay, so the week of July 10th in Tupelo, Mary-Kate and I both competed in the Miss Mississippi Volunteer and Miss Mississippi Teen Volunteer pageants, the first ever. Uh, We are the statewide branch of the Miss Volunteer America pageant, and we both competed in the categories of interview, talent, and evening gown. I did a swimsuit competition, Mary-Kate did a fitness competition, and here we are as the first ever state title holders for the organization. Well, that's awesome. Thank you you. uh, for that. So. Uh, Mary Kate, just reading a little bit about your bio. So you're from Brandon. Yes, is that I correct? am. Yes. Went to Brandon High School. Yes, sir. Okay. And uh, so tell us what inspired you to pursue this uh, distinction. Well, I really have a heart for people and I have a heart for service. And so when I heard that we would be working with Mississippi Highway Patrol to help further the Mississippi Drive campaign. I knew that I wanted all in and I love being able to wear this crown and this sash and just go out and help people and that's you know really where it all started. Major you want to tell us about the Drive campaign what exactly that means? Well absolutely and 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 our hats are off to Steve Stockton and Miss Tori Jackson. Uh, They approached us last year uh, Commissioner Sean Tennell and Colonel Randy Ginn and myself about the drive program being part of the Miss Mississippi Volunteer platform. Mm -hmm. And we are extremely honored to have these two young ladies uh, help us promote this. As as you know, DRIVE stands for Driving Requires Initiative, Values, and Education. Mm -hmm. Uh, This is something we, we implemented again this year just due to the fact of the high number of teenagers that were killed in traffic crashes in 2020. So, uh, again, it's a really good campaign, big campaign that we launched statewide. And, and again, these two young ladies are going to take us even further with this campaign. Yeah, and, and, and much uh, respect and commendation to uh, you two young ladies for, for taking up this cause because I, I think it's accurate to say that, that uh, most folks at uh, you, your ages – really aren't that interested in stuff like this. And so for you to take an interest in this and, and make a difference is a really big deal. It's got to be rewarding somewhat, does it not, Rachel? Oh, absolutely. You know, we all, I've heard Major Polis say we all have dreams and goals, but very seldom do we think about the simple fact that driving in an unsafe manner could be the very thing that keeps us from reaching those. So this is really important, you know. This is a pageant, but it's also a year-long life-saving mission is really what this partnership is about. So it's an honor to get to be the people that uh, further the mission. The Highway Patrol has done a fantastic job with this campaign since it started, but yeah. as Major Polis has said, we cannot make enough of these presentations. So yeah. we're very excited to keep doing that. Well, and, and Mary-Kate, uh, first, we want folks to be safe on the road. Every time the major's in, we talk about all the all those various challenges. We want people to be safe. But... Uh, in particular, uh, young folks that aren't very experienced at driving, they, they've got to be extra careful, shall we say. Plus, they've got their whole lives in front of them, and we want them to live full, rewarding lives and be productive citizens. How are you able to influence, let's say, your peers that are your age, Mary Kay? Just trying to get my peers to understand that we may all be in the room as the presentation is going on, but the thought of... Major Polis having to go have that knock on the door and speak to our family members and say you've lost your child is yeah. just something that we really need to get across to teenagers because it's it's a devastating thing and while I don't have kids I can surely help kids relate to the thought of maybe not being able to see their friends the next day you know having those empty chairs in the classroom is just something that you know students really need to think about yeah so do you uh, do you feel like you're making a difference, Rachel? Well, we just got started. You know, we uh, were crowned on July 10th in Tupelo, but we've already had the opportunity to talk statewide about driving. You know, I've said if just one child goes home wearing their seatbelt that day, and maybe they didn't the day before, or one child chooses not to text and drive, it will be worth it. Yeah, absolutely. 
Major, how, how valuable is this to the highway patrol's efforts to keep our roadways safe? It, it, extremely valuable. And, you know, Gerard, we've had many conversations about traffic safety, but what is so great about this partnership, these two young ladies bring a different perspective. Yeah. They're, they're helping us in yeah. law enforcement because, you know, we can be desensitized sure. when it comes to what we do in law enforcement. The public, motoring public, is desensitized. So we're kind of taking a step back and watching these two young ladies work yeah. and, and give us information that will help us relate better to our young students across Mississippi and to help relate to our parents. You know, the DRIVE program encompasses everything when it comes to to driving and it's not just students it's all of us we all play a role in what it takes for everyone to make it home safely you know i, I just think back uh, a long time ago when i was a teenager and a teenage driver i, I was much more likely to be influenced and uh, and heed the i guess the words and the advice and the information coming from my peers, mm -hmm. then honestly, that I would be an adult, uh, and and it's I think that's just human nature for the most Absolutely. part. So I, I think it's really great that we we've got a, a, a wide variety of, uh, of resources and and uh, figures that are involved in this. Uh, so Rachel, you you got to be pretty excited about this, and and uh, I, I noted on your your bio that you in, intend to go to law school. Yes, is that sir. Right? Yeah. Hopefully next year. Okay. And is there a particular area of law that you want to study? I'm actually really interested in working in public service. So this role okay. is actually preparing me for my career in that field. I had the opportunity to work for Congressman Trent Kelly yeah. on Capitol Hill, and I really loved um, seeing how a law degree could benefit me in that field. So um, that's what I'm looking at right now. Of course, that might change in the next few sure. years, but I love the idea of working on behalf of the people working in public service, uh, going to bed every day, knowing that I've done something influential for no, them. Absolutely. I, I, I wish you all the best, Thank and I'm you. quite sure you'll do, you'll do well. And, Thank and you. Mary Kate, what about you? What are your plans? Well, I will actually be attending the University of Mississippi coming next month, actually. It's hotty toddy. Hotty toddy, <laughs> yes. Um, and my major is public health sciences with an emphasis in health science studies. Very cool. And then I want to go on to medical school and hopefully become a pediatric surgeon. Wow. Well, uh, that's fantastic. And uh, it, uh, certainly in our society, the, the demand for uh, medical talent, medical professionals is, is always there. And we're very grateful to uh, them. I've got some friends, by the way, that are that are pediatricians, include, including those that took care of my children. So it's uh, extremely valuable and uh, noble work. So are you guys, are you touring the state? Do you have a schedule of events, uh, Rachel, that you guys are pursuing? Our schedule is quickly filling up. We will be touring the state, promoting the drive campaign, but also the central theme of our organization is volunteerism. So you'll see us at various different events with no particular theme, um, just anything service related, working to fulfill our mission. We have five points to our crown. We don't have it on right now because yeah. of the headphones, but yeah. uh, it spells out the word serve and it stands for scholarships, education, responsibility, volunteerism, and empowerment. So wow. everything we do throughout the year will be related to those pillars. And uh, do you guys tour together? Are these events uh, joint? Sometimes so we'll be together. Sometimes <laughs> we'll be apart. Um, we kind of call ourselves the one-two punch. We had a friendship before we were both crowned, okay. so we really hit the ground running and are excited to sometimes be together. Um, Mary Kate's in Oxford now, and I'll be in Pontotoc, so we'll be close together and I hoping to do as much as we can. So when you when you pursue these sorts of, of uh, competitions, it, it takes a lot of folks behind the scenes to help you out with that. Absolutely. Is it not, Mary oh, Kate? Yes. Oh, <laughs> yes. You know, we always say, me and Rachel both say, it takes a village to raise up a child. And I can tell you, the night we were both crowned, when our villages came up and hugged on us and were congratulating us, it was just a completely different feeling. Yeah. Rachel, anything you want to say to folks out there, about the, certainly about the drive campaign? We know I think it's going to be really, really special to get this campaign kicked off. We want to make as many appearances as possible. So if you're interested in having us come speak to your school, certainly reach out. But, you know, like I said earlier, if it changes the life of one family, if I save one family the grief of losing a child, this will be worth it. And we are so thankful to the Mississippi Highway Patrol and our organization for allowing us this opportunity. Yeah. And, and Mary Kate, uh, you've got, I believe, a little brother, right? we got just about a minute left. you got a little brother that had some heart conditions, some issues. 
Right. Yes. My little brother, John Thomas, is five, but when he was six months old, he was diagnosed with a, with a heart defect yeah. and has had to undergo multiple heart surgeries to fix that. So that's where my dreams of being a pediatric surgeon oh, have gone. Awesome. Mary Kate Nelson, Miss uh, Mississippi Volunteer Team Volunteer, and Rachel Shoemaker, Miss Mississippi Volunteer, and of course Major Johnny Paulus have been our guest during this segment. We appreciate you guys coming in, and thank you for what you do. Great thank you work! So much. Thank you. It's thank you. It's an honor to meet you and have you on the program. Thank you for having us. Yes. We'll talk soon. We'll be right back with more on the J.